Look at these mushrooms, they are so delicious. Here's my spinach stuffed mushroom technique topped with pepperoni and Gruyere cheese. The best way to clean these beautiful baby portobello mushrooms is to use a paper towel. Some nice, decent mushroom stems too. So I'm popping these stems out. Let's take these mushrooms and wipe them down really good. While I'm wiping these mushrooms down, you don't want to use water for sure. Water's going to add moisture. And, and moisture's going to make the roasted mushrooms into an ugly soup. Also want to make sure these stems are thoroughly removed from the inside of the mushroom. And let's wipe this meaty thing down. Meaty, meaty mushroom. Love baby portobellos. Tomorrow, it may be a mushroom sauce. Good example of one that still has the stem. I'm gonna take a spoon and kind of gently scrape it out. Some people like to scrape out the gills too. I like the gills because the gills hold oil, salt, and pepper while it's marinating. And now, to coat them in balsamic vinegar. We need balsamic vinegar, seasoned salt, black pepper, and California garlic. Yummy. A nice thorough toss. I want to get these mushrooms completely coated. I'm going to let them marinate in the balsamic. And then a few tosses every so once in a while. Oh, olive oil. Olive oil. Drizzle of olive oil. Oh, this smells so good. It just so happens that I don't have any breadcrumbs. So I'm going to make some breadcrumbs from this uh, bread end that I have here. And these breadcrumbs are going to be not crummy, but just kind of a, a loose breakdown of bread. And voila, breadcrumbs. That's about a cup and a half. Now let's tackle a wilted spinach. If it wasn't boiling hot and I had more time and it was sitting down to cool, I would pretty much use my hands. Actually, I could probably use my hands now. Or is it gonna be too hot? Too hot is no good. Instead, let's use this cup or this bowl here. I totally don't know what I'm doing, as you can tell. Let's try squeezing the water out. After it cools, I'll squeeze it again. I'm going to squeeze it real good to get all that water out. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I think this is the best idea yet. Let's give these mushrooms another quick toss. Keep that marination going. Now to assemble the stuffing, let's start with a couple eggs. We're going to scramble up these couple of eggs really good. And a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. I got the good old Kraft. And a cup of spinach. Let's squeeze this water out. Too much water. Let's get that incorporated in the stuffing. When you make this and the stuffing has too much water on the bottom, it's not good. You want it dry. I'm gonna break this spinach up. Okay, that's a little too dry. I'm gonna add one more egg. My eggs are small. I think I, the breadcrumbs were too puffy. There we go. Let's give these mushrooms another quick toss. It's good. I can usually give three or four tosses. Sprinkle some salt, seasoned salt, or white salt, just a dash. Sprinkle some pepper, just a dash. And sprinkle some more, another dash of garlic salt. Actually, it's not some more. This is the first time I'm seasoning this. Give it another quick agitation, stir. Now to arrange the mushrooms. I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Look at these mushrooms. Oh, they're 
to die for. Give each one a quick stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I like to form my ball with the spinach. Gently put it inside. Alrighty, mushrooms are stuffed. This next piece is where we're gonna do the toppings. How many mushrooms do I have? 15, 16. When I first started trying this, it tasted delicious, but sometimes the pepperonis would slide off the top. If I didn't have the heat high enough, I was baking these at 300, it, it would fill up full of liquid and turn into a soupy mess with the pepperonis floating on the bottom. So over time, I discovered that when I turn up the heat and cook it at a higher temperature, it's hot enough to burn off the moisture so, so much soup falls in. And when I put the pepperonis on, I cut them into four pieces and lay them on top and then press them down in the middle and it keeps them from sliding off. The other thing is after pushing them down in the middle, it makes a nice little bed for the cheese. See that? Let's push that in there. See that how it makes a nice little pocket? And now for the gruyere. I noticed that if I take slices in opposite directions, it comes out in much smaller pieces. I don't really want large strings, so I'm going back and forth to get really small pieces. So touch it in the middle, top it off, kind of space them out. I think they're gonna slide around. Adding some parchment paper on the bottom would be a good idea. I should have done that. That would just keep them from sliding so much. And I have a tray. Sheet to set these on. Let's get that in there for 20 minutes. Now I have a feeling that perfectly done. All right, let's set them down on the counter to cool. Look at these mushrooms, they are so delicious. And just pop one whole one in your mouth or because they're cut, you take a bite with that toasted cheese on top. Mm. Mm. So eggy and spinachy and mushroom taste like meat. That pepperoni and gruyere. Mm. Or even put them in the toaster oven to heat them up a little bit. Perfect. 